Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a Patreon poll pick today, and the movie is Grumpier Old Men. Now, this is quite a contested category because the category was sequels. And um, apparently there's some people that are quite upset with me. <laughs> there's a small number of movies that have second parts. And this whole week, I watched Karate Kid Part 2 on Monday. I'm watching Grumpy Old Men on Friday. I'm trying to get two out of the, you know, two out of the woodwork. But someone, I don't know, I don't remember who it was. It was about a month ago. They emailed me and they go, sir, <laughs> just so you are aware, I spent the last hour going through your entire movie list and you have 20 movies that you have seen, at least 20, I think the person said, at least 20 movies that you have seen where there are sequels and you haven't watched any of them. <laughs> Now, what are the 20 movies I have seen that I don't know that are sequels? That's the problem. Oh, I don't know there's sequels to these movies. So, here's my request to one of you wonderful people out there in the YouTube world, one of my Patreons, doesn't matter. I will put in the description my actor slash director slash movie database it does exist there is a awesome us movies actor slash director slash movie database that lists every single movie i've seen if they're on youtube or on patreon and the length of them and a link to them and all that stuff they're all linked together it's great however if someone wants to go out there and like go through that list and then email me at awesome us movies at gmail.com a list of what movies have sequels that i have not seen that would be amazing and that would be a much more likely for me to watch those sequels because i don't know they exist <laughs> if you don't know who i am and you've gotten this far congratulations you're amazing <laughs> My name is James. I am an ex-farmer who grew up in the middle of nowhere and only had three channels on my TV. So we just didn't watch it unless it was like news or Wheel of Fortune or something like that. I became a massive bookworm and have been for over 30 years and I'm still a massive bookworm. I've read like seven or nine books in the last month, I think. I'm a voracious reader. It's a problem. But this channel has got, I used to be like 20 books a month. It's been, <laughs> excuse me. Anyways, my oldest children convinced me to start this channel and start catching up on all these awesome U.S. movies. Now, I also now have a second channel called Awesome Shows. If you go into Google or YouTube search and just type in Awesome Shows, one word, my head will pop up and you can go check that out. I'm doing Breaking Bad, True Detective, The Good Place over there. Um, what else? By now, I have finished The Good Place on Patreon, and I am now watching The Band of Brothers, is what I think it's called. Or Band of Brothers? Or The Band of Brothers? I don't know. It's short. It's only like one season, I'm told. Um, but it has something to do with uh, Saving Private Ryan. But that's what I've been told. But, uh, yeah, I'm anxious to get into grumpier old men because I adored grumpy old men. And I'm hoping I'm, and assuming it's the same exact people. It's just the sequel. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see, you know, grandpa and we'll see the two main guys and uh, the redhead lady. I think that's it. Maybe the brother, the, the son and the daughter together, maybe. Maybe they get married in this one, the son and the daughter from the first one. I don't know. Anyways, thank you to everybody watching. Subscribe and like, of course. And thanks to my Patreons. And let's get into it and watch Grumpier Old Men. I'll be glad when you dead, you rascal you. Oh my gosh, I've never heard this song before. You stole my 
wife and gone. Okay, Jack Lemon, he's one of the two main guys. Walter Matthau's the other one. Now, I've only seen the two of those in Grumpy Old Men, and then I saw them in a Patreon request, which was Out to Sea. That movie's over on Patreon if you want to watch At least it's summer. Are we still fishing? Yep. Moron. Hutch, where are they biting? Pop says that he spotted Catfish Hunter down at Indian Slough. Oh, Catfish Hunter. Hi, Ariel. Hi. Well, they got married last time, that's right. You messed with my wife. See you later. And now I'm gonna take your life. You messed with my wife. Now I'm gonna take your life. I'm gonna give you just they, I wonder how big a town they are in. Oh, we got our bobber out. Yes. And I got you. Oh, oh no. Why do you got your radio hey, on? You're gonna scare uh, all the fish. Turn that radio down. You're scaring oh. all the fish away. I saw him. You saw him? Catfish hunter. Oh, catfish hunter. He just looked at me, smiled, and swam down into the mud. He's the size of a goddamn Buick, and I would have had him caught if you hadn't shown up. You couldn't uh -huh, catch sure. crabs from a $10 hooker. How is your sister, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> He says there's a rumor going around that Rick Rigetti's cousins come down from St. Paul to buy Chuck's bait. We'll have the first mob-run bait shop in Wabashaw. Just because they're Italian, they'll be the mob? I was here first. Hitting 360. Find your own damn fishing hole. Boy, these two are the worst at each other. What's the matter with that guy? Uh oh. You don't uh -oh. have the balls to take me out. Ariel's had your neuter. Oh! Oh! Let that be a lesson to you. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> Get out of here. These two, they're scared every fish in the lake. Mm. Oh, Ariel these two are together. Over the house. Our house will be ready soon and then we're out of here. What? <laughs> wow, look at, she has perfect teeth. Holy crap. Oh. I'm up. Yes, you are. She hates me. Uh, she doesn't hate you. She just doesn't like you very much. Oh, thanks. I talked to Pop, and he's already booked a place. He did? The Pep and Dance Hall. That would have been great. But no. Slippers Tavern. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're serious. Yeah. I know it's not what yeah, we wanted. Huh? I'll call him. He'll cancel. We'll find our own place. No, forget it. Yeah, it was my idea to let them help plan the wedding. And I got She gave up pretty easy on that one. It's amazing how well they're getting along. Uh, yeah, they're getting along all right. Look at those two idiots. We got a wedding to plan, Bonehead, remember? How can I forget? See you later, John. See you later, Max. Ah, just like that. They're all good. <laughs> oh, is it Dad? He's here. We're catfish hunter. Whoa. You know that catfish is older than I am? No, jeez. What the hell is this? What that slight beer? I weigh 90 goddamn pounds and you bring me this slopping foam? <laughs> <laughs> According to all of them flat belly experts, I should have took a dirt nap yeah. like 30 years ago. But sometimes I wonder. Good genes. God forgot about me. <laughs> no. But you said you drink beer, you eat bacon, and you smoke cigarettes. I thought maybe there's a moral. No, there ain't no moral. I just like that story. I just like the story. I just like that story. Oh, there we go. Drink up. You okay? Feeling all right? Splendid. Why? I couldn't help noticing that you were talking to the flowers. <laughs> he thinks you're nuts. <laughs> Look, I'm cooking Cantonese tonight. Why don't you join us? I already made other plans. Are you sure? Oh, he doesn't want to intrude. Max needs a love interest. Wait. He could have been having Cantonese. Well, why don't we just put everything in? Oh, I know the son. He's from A uh, Few Good Men. Hey, Pop, don't you think it's time to start dating again? Who with? What about Jane Clark? Jane Clark. Jane of the jungle. Got more body hair than I do. Oh. Jeez. You can't sit around waiting for another Ariel to walk into your life. Remember when you were a kid? Your mother baked that rhubarb pie for my birthday? She swelled up like a balloon. Broke out in hives. Oh. What made you think of that, Pop? I don't know. I think about things like that all the time. She loved him so much that she cooked the pie for him. 
always hits the cans. We're going over to Chuck's, huh? To meet the Italian. Well, the chains are off, yeah. Yeah, he misses Chuck. Who's this lady? Oh, oh. oh. Who's this? I'm gonna whack him! Next time he touch a vino, I'll whack his head like a melon. Holy moly! <laughs> my mother is a little bit too protective of the wine. Yeah. Hi, my name's Goldman, Max Goldman. Maria Sofia Colletta Raghetti. It's quite a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was expecting someone that looked like Rick. You know, fat, hairy, homely. But you're not so fat. <laughs> You're a smooth talker, Mr. Goldman. <laughs> oh, you're a smooth talker, yeah. Is this the love interest? <laughs> I hope so. So when is the uh, bait shop going to be back in business? What is a bait shop? Well, that's what we call it here in Minnesota. What do you call it where you come from? Call it, uh, I think, uh, ristorante. You're going to turn this into a restaurant? Si. Oh. You're going to scare all the fish away. <laughs> this is the land of 10,000 lakes. Go find another one. Oh! People are not going to come down here for Italian when we got a Chuck E. Cheese right in town. A Chuck E. Cheese? It will be special, classy, somewhere you would never go. Oh! oh. Ristorante. Bait the shoppy. Rist bait, bait the shoppy. You should have let me whack him. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the old lady. Ooh. Oh, Grandpa got his eyes on something. My name's Gustafson. Francesca Regate. <laughs> Italian girl. What do you say we go back to my place? I'll show you my cannelloni. Wow, is he forward? <laughs> oh. oh. Meg. Oh. oh. Where you been? I've been looking all over for you. Why? What's so important? That. That. Oh, he got smacked! Who is that? That's Spaghetti Rigetti's cousin. <laughs> you... She hit him with a salami! I know, but what am I gonna do about it? Oh, we gotta come up with some kind of a plan. We oh. gotta find a way to put the kibosh on all this mess. Put the kibosh? It's okay! I'm a doctor! I'm a do oh, it sounds like Dad's using his free exam trick again. <laughs> I'm a doctor! I think I got an idea. They're gonna sabotage the place? Maybe they'll have a big grease fire in the kitchen. You gotta let this thing go, honey. Chuck is gone, the bait shop is gone, things move uh -huh. on. There's lakes everywhere in Minnesota. God, if Max could see me now, I'd never live it down. Would you relax? We're the only ones here. There's nobody here except you and me. <gasps> no! Max, you're the worst! <laughs> when you look at that poor man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why would you Mama sit right from the window like that? But Goldilocks had a Remington semi-automatic with a scope and a hair trigger. That's not the wow. way it goes. Yeah, I've never heard that story. Just hug me tight and tell me. So they moved into the house across the street. <laughs> Get some fresh air. He needs a porch. Yeah, this is a little love interest. They're both outside looking at the sky. Oh, there's the big catfish. He wasn't that big. He was pretty big, though. I'm not sticking the plant lady next to your Uncle Willie. It's not like she's a close friend of ours. We don't even know her name. Yeah, we call her the plant lady. You, uh, find the rat? No, but Ali said we could borrow Sparky. What if he gets your way? I made a leash. Hey, what do you guys want with Sparky? Uh-huh. I, I don't want to know. Yeah, no, you shouldn't want to know. Did you swallow a quarter? I'll call the doctor. Relax. Kids swallow quarters all the time. Really? Yep, they just got to poop it out. Department of Health. Everything appears to be up to our standards. What do you think, Pat? Is it a guinea pig? Me, rabbit. Good luck to you, you schmuck. It's a rat! A rat? Here? This, I'm writing you up. It's not a rat, it's a... Um, it's a guinea pig. It's a guinea pig. 
What are the chances that a guinea pig would run through here on an inspection day? Hmm? Oh! Yep, they're right there. Ox. Leg. <laughs> I don't think we've met. Uh, how do you... Uh, John Gustafson. You like Italian, Mr. Gustafson? Well, well yeah, I guess so. Why? Buon appetito. Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, tomato sauce all over you. Should we ask her for some garlic bread? <laughs> so I got the skinny pig on a leash. Just a reminder that I'm offering a seven day free trial to new Patreons. That is where you can find all my full reactions and this exclusive content. Condemned. Why are they trying to destroy this poor lady's business? Horrible. Poor woman. Not one customer all day. I mean, besides him. Hey, more views. Oh, it's Grandpa. We put everything into this place. We could have retired in... Hawaii. I have been to Hawaii. Which Ooh. island? Come on, I wanna lay you. Oh, I find you disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna join me, Miss Ragasi? Huh? What the hell? Come on, I wanna lay ya. <laughs> I've never heard of that island. To Chuck. May his to bait Chuck. shop never die. Mama. Mama. Oh, they're sitting on his couch. Boy, that couch would be so gross. <laughs> wow, she looks great for an old lady. Holy moly. Yeah, holy moly. It's such a shame that we got off on the wrong foot. It's a shame. I bet if we gave it another chance, we could uh, become good friends. Friends. Mm-hmm. He's interested now. So cool. Oh my gosh, she's playing him for a fiddle, man. It's a tiny little restaurant. Restaurante. <laughs> Never! Ah. You evil temptress! <laughs> you evil temptress! I want to tell you how very sorry I am for what Max and John are putting you through. You non capisco. Why do you say such nice things? I know what it's like to be the new kid in town. Oh, yeah. John, I want you to go right down to Rigetti's and apologize. Apologize? Oh. I always knew you were on a short leash. I'm going home right now and get this matter straightened out. Oh, gosh. This ain't gonna work. Ah. She threw me out. Come on, just for tonight. Forget it. You won't even know I'm here. That's because you won't be here. Yeah, it's because you won't be here. Here's some matches. Set yourself on fire. They're horrible to each other. <laughs> really fine. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Where'd you find it? Would you like a half? No. Oh. This milk has chunks in it. What's your point? It's spoiled. Right next door, I've got a beautiful wife, my own bed, and a yeah. refrigerator full of food that hasn't passed its expiration date. So what are you saying? I'm saying I'm going down to Rigetti's and apologize to Maria. You traitor, finally. Oh, that's gotta be rancid. Smells all right. No, it's not okay. I had a guilty conscience. Well, okay, Ariel kicked me out of the house. And what about Max? Max, oh my God, forget it. Max is much too hard-headed to ever say he's sorry. He's proud. I mean, he has a strong character and... You admire Max? Huh. You really are from out of town. You really... How long have you been married? Six months next week. How about you? Oh, I'm divorced. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to bore you. He needs to get home. Uh-oh. He's got lipstick marks on his face. Is Ariel gonna find those? Studying up on your Italian? You're thinking of wooing Maria? Nah, I'm just gonna curse at her in her own language. 
Uh-huh. Say whatever you oh. will. I think he got the hots for her. Not in a million years. She's just a pig-headed Italian witch with piss and vinegar running through her veins. He's in love. Uh-huh. Where's Tweedledum? Tweedledum. Oh, John, John. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Last night he said he was going down to Rigetti's to apologize to Maria. Right. You mean to tell me he didn't come home? Uh, oh. <laughs> you passed out. I didn't think you should drive home. Uh -huh. You'll feel better after a hot shower. Come on, Mama. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna explain everything. I'm gonna listen carefully, and then I'm gonna kill him. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for all this, Ariel. All right, where is he? But let me explain. Get out! What? What's going on? Oh my God! It's still on his face. It's still on his face. How could you? What, this, oh, this isn't what it looks like. First it was me, then it was Ariel. Wait, what's that damn thing? You did, well, you said you hated oh, no. Maria. That's not the point. He's gonna hit it with sausage. Well, you sure weren't having sex with me. Why should I have sex with you? Nobody slept with anybody last ah, night. Ah, finalmente. Speak for yourself. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh! What do you want with me? I'd rather kiss a dead moose's butt. So I'll call you? So I'll call you? Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> I love this. Grandpa got frisky with the old broad. No, what surprise? We don't want any surprises. John thought of this one all by himself. The groom goes here. And the bride is. And then oh, this no. goes here. In the frosting, we spell out, Melanie has landed herself another husband. Uh, no. No. It was kind of cute until the last part. She's not the bitch I thought she'd be. Oh! Maria. I didn't know you were a fisherman. There are a lot of things you don't know about me. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness, moly. she got some luck. <laughs> now you show me yours. Oh, got my big girl. <laughs> yeah. It ain't the size that matters. Yeah, huh? Nobody knows about this place any more than I do. I could take you around sometime if you would like it. Mm -hmm. Are you asking me on a date? If I were, and I'm not, mind you, what would you say? I would say, um, maybe. Maybe. Now, maybe I'll stop by at 7 o'clock tonight. Oh! Max has a little love interest. Don't forget now, compliment her on how great she looks. Let me hear it. Maria. Uh-huh. There may be lots of fish in the sea, but you're the only one I would like to mount over my fireplace. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Subliminal messages. It's how you get people to do what you want without them knowing it. Join the Patreon. <laughs> Subliminal messages. <laughs> What's with them in the freaking garbage cans? You're the only one. She looks very lovely. Ciao. Holy, holy. <laughs> uh, there are many women floating in the river, but you're the only one I want to stuff and stick over them on my wall over the fireplace. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> she, she's not sure about that one. I didn't say it right. No, you didn't say it right at all. So, how do you like the old place? Uh, it's changed. It's uh, good or bad? It's the worst. Things never change for the better. What well, change brought me here to Abasha? Now the weather has changed. Thank you so much for dining al fresco. Yeah, outside. Oh, it's really coming down. You know, the <laughs> night crawlers will be out soon. Night crawlers, the king of all worms. Mm. This restaurant is sitting on top of one of the biggest and best worm beds in all of Wabasha County. What? You can imagine my excitement. <laughs> She's easily pleased. <laughs> worms have both male and female sexual organs no i didn't know that well it's true <laughs> is she playing along or is she actually interested oh there's a big one this one yeah. oh. 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 
I feel like <laughs> ground right, vibrations yeah. go in back in. You have a very beautiful smile. Would it be all right if I kissed you? Yes. Oh, I'm happy for Max. I haven't been with a man for a long time. Me neither. Me neither. I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, man, he's getting good smooches. Mamma mia. Holy moly. Oh, they switched. Holy moly. I love this movie. Oh, no, he's not with... Uh huh. He got lucky. Morning, Mr. Gustafson. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. I am the gangster of love. Gangster, huh? Yeah, well, tell me, was it more of a hold up than a stick up? Oh! Ho, ho. I think I liked you better before you were getting any. Oh, goodness. Get some leader hosing going. Hey, what's going on? Well, we got a surprise for you. In just eight days, these two happy kids will be husband and wife. Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Dear friends of us, me, obey the music man. The music man? This is a mistake. Just get right. them out of it. DJ, this is crazy. No, that's not what I meant. What do you mean? But if you're not sure, you gotta tell me. I'm just I'm not sure. Jacob, I just think we should take our time. I've been taking my time. Would you, you stop it? it? Oh. Jacob, gotta talk I know to what I'm parents. talking about. Really? If you're such an expert, how come you're the one that's been divorced? Oh, that was a low blow. Honey? The wedding's off. Honey? What happened? Your daughter got cold feet. Oh, cold feet. No, oh, give me a break. My daughter wouldn't marry your son if he was the last man in Wabashaw. Oh, you guys, stop it. The wedding is off and the friendship is off. Oh. Let the games begin. Oh, goodness, these two. Oh! That's not good! Uh, cut the end of his rope! Oh no! I know what this is! This is the video of getting his, his mold! So mean. <laughs> These two are the worst, man! Oh, Max. You don't like it, huh? No, no, it's beautiful. It's just um, things are moving so fast. But you're, you're, you're happy, huh? Yes, but that is what worries me. <laughs> Thank you, Max. You guys are both really old. Spend as much time together as you can. Oh, no, what's he going to do? Okay, Slick, sharpen those claws. It's the cat. I thought it was another dead fish. Oh. No, his new imitation leather. He's torn up something horrible. It's all torn up. We're getting dogs. Good morning, Slick. And I see you've crapped on my newspaper again. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am lucky. Look at lucky. Oh, oh no. Oh, they're staring up the place. Oh, get up! Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 Ariel's gonna be pissed! How do you like that, you putz? Boy, you dirty... Oh, what are we doing now? Oh! Sword fight! Now they're stuck together! She's gonna go ballistic on him! Max, for God's sake, time out. Where are you going? Home! And you can call me when the stupid war is over! Are you surprised? Yeah. Hey, go hey, make come up. On, go over there and tell her yeah. you're sorry. Go ahead. Exactly. Right, she won't even talk to me. For once, Maria, listen to your mama. Do you care for him? Yeah. Yes. Then leave him be. Why? You just want her to be an old spinster like you? Oh, well, right goodness, now, the bird. Yeah, PB and J. She's not going to show up. Almost like being. I wish people would stay out of people's relationships sometime. Jake and Melanie have called off the marriage. Uh -huh. Jake's moved in with Max. Max and I are at it again. And on top of that, Ariel's moved back into her house with Melanie. Now, what am I going to do about all of that? Pop? Oh, no. Pop? Did Grandpa die? 
He died fishing. Looks like God remembered you, Pop. Yeah, he did. Well, maybe this will bring everybody back together. That's sad. I liked him. He's just spending some time with his dad. Yeah. Putting his ashes in the lake. Oh, she's gonna put a rose there for him. This is a good movie. Mind if I join you? No, help yourself. I knew your old man longer than I knew my own. He was always very fond of you, Max. You know, I didn't mean what I said about Melanie. And you know how I really feel about Jacob. Well, good. He's a good boy. So what do you want to do now? Want to get drunk? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's sit down at the couch and think about Dad. From now, you feel oh, he kept the dog. Natural oil. Oh. Yeah, let's find what channel that's on. Yeah. Protective <laughs> sunscreen. Great. Like oh, son, like father. Oh, yeah, trick or treat. I forgot. Hey, what? Hey, kids. A here's stapler. The and there's a stapler for you. Open your bag. That's it. Good shot. How's your mom doing? Okay. Want to come over? Probably throw me out the moment she saw my face. Oh, stick him in the bear outfit. Trick or treat. She's setting him up. You look ridiculous. Come on. Makeup. I needed to see you again, Mel. Tell you how sorry I was for the way I acted the other day. I just thought I couldn't be happy unless we were married. And I, I realize now I just want you in my life. That's a good response. Well, use a professional wedding coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Is the daughter watching? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's celebrate. Beers are on me. Oh, I'd love to, Max, but I got someone very special waiting for me. Oh, she's back home. She dumped me. You, what, Max, would you park that stupid pride of yours yeah. just once? Go fight for it. I got to speak to Maria. Oh, she's got a bat. I don't want to steal. Mama, please. Please, Mama. Man, she's a force to be reckoned with, man. I have to tell you something. Yes? I have been married before. To Antonio, I know. But also to Fernando. Oh. And Carlo. Oh. And Eduardo. Oh. And Marcello. Five? I'm cursed in love. I don't know what happened with those other guys, but... Let me tell you something about me. I know I'm no great prize, but I'm loyal. I'm honest. I know how to treat a lady. There you go. Anybody says any different doesn't know her ass from her elbow. Oh, take that. So if you care to join me for some mystery stew, I would be indeed honored. That sounds wonderful. Oh, well, that was quick. Yes. He just had to fight for her a little bit. Yep, yep, Are we getting married? I got it. You got it? Yeah. Hey, John, isn't that Sven over there? Oh, no. His pole's broken. Uh oh. The stupid catfish? Biggest fish I ever see. Catfish, catfish hunter. hunter. Yeah. yeah, catfish hunter. He smiled. He smiled? See? And then he bit oh. the pole in half. The biggest catfish. What? He's in shock. Don't even think of it. Oh, no. Somebody else could catch our fish. Some stranger with our fish mounted on his wall. He's going to miss his son's wedding? Oh. Holy Jesus. Easy, easy. Don't worry. They got him. Is he pulling the boat? Yeah, huh? He better be dead. Yep. Chip up. The tip is up, you Turn idiot. the motor on. I'll show you how to do it. Here's the way you do it. He's going to snap the line. Here he comes. Ah! Get him in there, boat. Wow. That's a big, <laughs> big fish. Max. Huh? Let's let him go. Are you out of your mind? Dad tried to catch that fish for 20 years. Yeah. That fish hunter deserves to be in the lake with Pop. That's a good sentiment. You are one sick bastard. Goodbye, catfish. 
Uh, you forgetting Wait, something? I the wedding. What time is it? Ah, they're in so much trouble. We're coming down the aisle. Wait, hold it. We're here. We're here. They got their boots on. Here she comes. Oh, pink dress. See what we missed? Thank God we eloped. No. Is that Max getting married? They eloped. It's Max getting married! She's got a look. Like, yeah. Does he not have the ring? <gasps> no! My son in law has got the face of a mackerella. <laughs> You'll never forget him! Dang. Yay! He's got his boots on! He's got his fishing boots on! Be sure to watch Lucky for us. I'm gonna miss that ugly mug of his. I'm gonna miss your ugly mug too. God bless you, sir. Congratulations! Yay! Did he put the fish in the back of the limousine? What's that smell? Well, it's Lucky! <laughs> what a moron. Yay! Fine, and bait! One mile ahead. Do we get bloopers? I am the Lothario of farts. I'm oh, Lothar, the fart guy? Wait. <laughs> what the hell is her name? Ariel. She <laughs> left me. You're surprised? <laughs> you don't even know her name. <laughs> Some schmuck with his fish and my fish and your fish up a hole. Oh. Lots of fish. <laughs> it's so horrible. Get another actor, please. You go one more from the top and a little bit more out of breath, yeah? If I was more out of breath, I'd be dead. <laughs> you. He's a criminal. <laughs> He's a criminal. <laughs> How would you like my bony macaroni or my fatty Alfredo? I got them all. I got them. I got them all. I got them all! Yay! Let's talk about it! That was Grumpier Old Men, and what a fantastic sequel. I enjoyed this one so much. Maybe not as much as the first one, because it was just a really, like, you didn't see all the comedy coming, and this one is a lot of the comedy reused over again, and there's a love interest, and, you know, the fishing aspect, and the grandpa dying, you know, I I love the heart of that in this movie. It was a very sad moment because I did like him in this movie. But the I was so happy to see that Max got a love interest in this one because he is a very lonely person. And uh, I'll tell you what, his uh, he need his house needs some help. <laughs> he could use some women. Womanly love is a nice way to put it. He could also use a house cleaner. <laughs> Maybe start with the house cleaner first and then get some womanly love in there. You know, like, you know, clean, not just clean the place up, but like, get rid of some of the old crap. <laughs> like, he had three TVs going at the exact same time and he wasn't watching any of them. What kind of a lifestyle was that? So the children, um, they're both his son and her daughter eloped, and so they did get married. That's nice to see. And then Max got married in the end, barely. They did catch the big catfish, but they let him go to be with dad, which was great. I like that little moment. The outtakes, I you gotta love the outtakes. The best one was was she left me. And he's like, Can you blame her? You don't even remember her name. <laughs> I bet they're a lot of fun on set. I just, I bet they are. Can you be more out of breath? If I was more out of breath, I'd be dead. Anyways, I know the two main actors from um, Grumpy Old Men, and then a Patreon specifically requested Out to Sea, um, which they're in a uh, film together on a cruise ship. And it was pretty good. I don't think it's going to make it to YouTube. Um, anytime soon, but it's over on Patreon if you want to check that out. And then, um, yeah, finally got uh, two sequels done this week. We got 
Karate Kid 2 done this week, and we got Grumpy Old Ben. So, 2 out of 20. <laughs> I got a lot more to go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my second channel, Awesome Shows. It's linked below, or if you want to search on YouTube, it's just Awesome Shows, one word. And then, uh, of course, check out my Patreon. There's a lot of exclusive content over there. And um, all the uh, stuff, full reactions to everything is only five bucks. So it's not that expensive to go check it out and watch some of your favorite movies with me. And you just watch the full length. I have to cut out so much. You have no idea how much I have to cut out. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, never forget that you are awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.